Uh, so I was 12, and basically I was short. Somebody at school came up to me and said, hey, do you want to drive a car around Goodwood? I said, well, yeah, of course I do. Um, not really grown an awful lot, but I'm, uh, I'm a bit taller now, and uh, 13 years on, I'm still doing it, um, and have a career in, uh, in engineering, which um, I really wouldn't have got or even thought about uh, if it wasn't for this. It is purely down to it. It's going quite well. Yeah. Um, most of the races that we've been to this year, we've been winning races or coming second with in both our cars. And at the moment, things are looking pretty good. What's the main main concern for your car for, for today? Have you got any worries about it? Uh, there's always worries, I guess. Just making sure that nothing shorts out due to the rain, waterproofing, and just hopefully we get through the race. The strong winds that are predicted for the race will um, slow us down a lot. We've made a new cover for the car that goes over the handle uh, the steering column so hopefully that will stop the uh, strong winds from hitting us. Our first qualifier we were in the pouring rain pretty much the whole time and it was it wasn't just drizzle like it is today. Yeah, I started at primary school I'm now 18 so I've been doing it for, doing it for half my life so. And, and is this something you're going to continue on when you leave school is it is it a career you've chosen as it were going forward? Uh, yeah I've currently left school um, I'm now working at Renishaw. Excellent. And, uh, and and what sort of things did being part of this at school sort of help you with after you left? Well, it's helped me with like basic machine shop skills, milling, turning, um, and I can MIG weld, gas weld, and it's just things you wouldn't get to do normally at school. You've done all this for eight years, but it's what, what's been the best thing about it for you then? Um, it's just the hobby of it. You're learning new skills that you can apply to your whole life and other, whole sections of it. Um, I love engineering so much and being able to be part of a team and building my confidence and my skills, it's just been amazing for me. Hi guys, so what exactly happened out there? Someone crashed into <laughs> You had a collision with another car? Pretty much, yeah. And who was driving at the time? Uh, ben. 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 He's, hiding. He, he's hiding at the moment. And what have you got to do now then? We're basically rebuilding the front, uh, the entire front end basically. Oh, it's taught us a great deal about everything really, aerodynamics, race cars, all kinds of things. Um, we've, we've taken a lot from it, uh, both the racing side of it and the engineering side. Any of you wanting to become engineers or technologists in the future? Um, quite a few of us do, like I do. So, your name again is? Lauren. Lawrence, this is uh, my pleasure to award you this Mary Anderson Award. Thank you. No. Um, through Green Power I've gone to university to study engineering and uh, so I'm here marshalling today so I can continue to keep up with Green Power. It's um, got my foot in the door into many things, particularly work experience and it's helped me get into uni and it's a great thing to have on my CV. What's the most inspirational thing that comes out of building the cars and racing them for you girls then? Um, seeing that the work you put in the workshop has results on the track so it pays off to work hard and produce things. Trophy up in the air, hands up in the air, and a round of applause from the crowd for our second place finishers. <laughs>